I think that's highly funny, dude. That's two different radios sounding identically the same. <laughs> When you want to know how and why why Richie pays off, just listen to those two guys trying to talk to one another. What, my phone number? That's easy. 347-741-7607. 347-741-7607. I lost that other number that I have for the last four years, so I'm back to that one. Hold on, your buddy's trying to say something, but he's locking down the channel with a dead key. Gotta love those other two radios, the guy that was calling Shata. Oh, man, God, I gotta love my video camera. What a bunch of idiots. See what happens when you think you could outdo Richie? See what happens when you think you have your knobs and switches set wrong? You think something's wrong with your shit? You bring it somewhere else and it gets all fucked up because there was nothing wrong from the door. See what happens? But hey, that makes me shine. Uh, understand what I just said. Them two clowns probably had their switches and their knobs wrong. Right away they think something's wrong with their radio and nothing's wrong at all. So they bring it to somebody else other than me saying, fuck me. And they think they tell, oh yeah, it's working great now. And meanwhile, listen to it. Low, squealing, shitty, distorted. And they're both, they're both sound the same way. So, you know, when it, when I do it once and do it right, that shit come out booming loud, crystal clear, strong carrier, nice audio. Hey, if you don't know how to work your knobs and switches after that, you're the own fool. I'll tell you how you can put a stop to all that, dude, and save yourselves a bunch of money. Just buy radios that only have two knobs and a channel selector. You do that, you'll never have a radio problem in this life. Since y'all have no idea what them knobs and switches mean or what their functions are. <laughs> Thank you.